the will happens all here concurrently, which means all that information is here too. It's just a matter of being able to tap into it. And so, yeah, Tesla was able to do that. And he, when you go back into his history as a, a young man in Serbia, he was having out-of-body experiences. He was astral projecting mm -hmm. um, all that back then. So yeah, this was something that he was very well in tune to. He had an understanding of how the ancients built things, how they used energy, you know, the way that the pyramids used energy and all that. He was very well aware of all that. He was so far ahead of his time. He was just a little too early, man. <laughs> and, and that was kind of the problem. Yeah. yeah. When, like with, with the Wardenclyffe Tower, um, you know, okay, so Marconi used his technology. Uh, Tesla was eventually awarded the recognition for inventing the radio after he had died. It was something he fought for uh, most of his life. That you know, He was like, no, Marconi did not invent the radio. He used my technology to invent his device, but that, that was me. Um, and it, it was finally granted to him. You know, you got Tesla building this huge tower talking about worldwide communications. Well, you have Marconi uh, that is basically demonstrating, hey, I can send communications from, you know, shore to ship. You know, and the investors at that time were like, oh, wow, that's something we haven't had before. And, you know, and Marconi is able to deliver on that. But you have Tesla over here, like, that's nothing, that's chump change. We're talking the whole world. And the investors at that time couldn't see that vision because he was too far ahead of his time. And they were just like, no, you, you can't be talking about the world. I can see shorter ship. Yeah. And, you know, that small, that huge, no, that's just too big. And so they laughed him out of the room when, yeah, Tesla, was. <laughs> he was just too far ahead. Man, He, he needed to figure out a way to kind of piecemeal it and, and, and kind of spoon feed it to him. And he didn't have, he, he didn't have that. And he was a terrible businessman too. Like the whole yep. thing with, um, he, he would do things like negotiate down his contract. Like, um, I can't, I can't remember if it was Morgan or Astor, but one of those two where you know, they're offering him a 50, 50 deal. And Tesla's like, well, you know, you're the money behind this. You're the investor. You should have 51. <laughs> and of course screwed him in the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think because that was actually court, in the, in the court. Like, well, you only have 49. So, you yeah. know, yeah. Yeah, I think that was Westinghouse when they were developing the Niagara Falls, the first power plant that, uh, you know, lit up New York. I think, yeah, I think it was <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dude, well, that wasn't He negotiated his... a worse contract for himself. It's like, oh my God, yes, terrible businessman, unfortunately. Just not a good marketer, not a good businessman. Yeah. And and that's that guy just doesn't have that built into him. He is one of the purest inventor, genius minds of all time. And even today, what if he was born now or let's say 20 30 years ago and he's coming into all of this technology now do you think they would let him release this stuff now no he would be discredited as a kook 